What is good? I mean, what is really good, my people? It is UK, Trotter Brother, Dr. Blade, the Darkest Man, around it today, guys. I'll be talking about My Hero Academia Once Justice. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about the story mode for this game. A lot of people have been having questions on how they're going to deliver the story mode. A lot of people have been scratching their head in terms of will we get a story mode? But if you guys want to know my overall thoughts and opinions, get your fried chicken, get that Kool Aid, and sit them cheeks down because you know you definitely know this UK Trotter Brother will be going ham on this video so without further ado let me just get on this so first of all I'm gonna start off by saying yes I do feel like we will be getting a story mode when it comes down to the way they presented this game in terms of putting out news in terms of giving us information about the game it's more so them emphasizing that everybody will be fighting unique and emphasizing the type of characters that we will see on this game Obviously, we do know for the most part, most people in class 1A will be on this game. We just need them to confirm more villains. And after they confirm more villains, I do feel like they will be showing us some trailers on the story mode. And when it comes down to the area that I feel like they're going to cover in the story mode, it's pretty obvious to me. Season 1 to Season 3. And that's a decent amount of content. And we should get a decent ass story mode if you're basing it in terms of length. But there's one issue that worries me when it comes to the story mode is the quality of the story mode as a whole i know a lot of people are not going to care about the story mode i know when it comes to a lot of people playing anime arena fighters it's more so the online and how the connectivity of the online is going to be and I, that's understandable online is pretty much where uh, a lot of the longevity is going to be but the issue is with these games is that you unlock majority of the stuff through the story mode so if I'm going to unlock majority of the stuff through the story mode, I want to have a enjoyable story mode. I don't want the story mode to be like Burning Blood, where I just fight one person, onto the next person, fight another person, and another person, and it goes on, so on and so forth. I want it to be like, kind of how they did the Storm story mode. I feel like the Storm series, out of all the story modes i played, I feel like the Storm series has the best story mode in terms of the format, in terms of how diverse they made everything be. You had some missions which were... Hack and Slash, which a lot of people did say was tedious, but the fact that they dived outside the box when it came down to that was cool with me. I like the fact that they had Hack and Slash. I like the fact that they had um, quick time events. I like the fact that they had objective-based missions. That's one thing you got to give Storm credit, is the fact that majority of the missions, majority of the stuff they had to do throughout the Storm mode was different. Some missions would be objective-based. Some missions would be boss battle-based. Some missions would be Hack and Slash-based. Some missions will be quick time event based. Like a lot of the stuff that was done throughout the Storm story was different, and that's what made the Storm story so much more enjoyable compared to the other games. Burning Blood went through that format of um, freaking uh, fight one person, fight another person, fight another person, continuously, continuously, continuously. And Dragon Ball Fighters did that, but in a more easier difficulty fashion. I don't really like that shit. I don't like it at all. And I feel like if they want One's Justice to do well, I feel like they got to look at the stuff that Storm did well and implement it in their own game in terms of giving us a good story. Obviously, I would not care about the story being good if I do not have to unlock all my characters from the story. But you guys know how anime games are. In order to unlock the characters you want to play as, you have to go through that story. And if I have to go through that story, I want to get a good ass story. You know what I'm saying? I want to get a good ass story that looks good, that has clean cut scenes. But I do feel that we will not see any any of um, the story mode until they confirm more characters for My Hero Academia Once Justice. Until they confirm more villains, because we need more villains. Like we got like two villains, three three villains in 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 a in an anime fighting game. We got two villains in a superhero anime fighting game like that that ain't enough man that ain't enough by that navico bro you need to fix that shit bro you need to fix it <laughs> you need to fix it no seriousness man. like it, it, ain't, it ain't good enough bro it ain't good enough but i'm giving you guys the benefit of the doubt you've been giving us more news you've been giving us more information and um, since we have a release date we need to get our hands on some sort of demo or some sort of open beta either one will be good i will make a video about that in more detail on how i feel about this game getting an open beta and all that stuff but as a whole guys how do you guys feel the my hero academia story mode will be do you guys feel like the whole beginning stuff that they showed in the first trailer with shikigaki 
and Tomo and no, I was gonna say the same person, Shikigaki and Deku. You feel like that's gonna be the quality of the cutscenes? Tell me what you guys think. Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. And yeah, let me just wrap up this video. So please comment and subscribe. I know I say this all the time, but at the end of the day, I'm just saying. Please be like and enjoy this video. And yeah, this is UK. Try to bubble catch you in the next one. Bye guys.